Hi, in the previous slide where I talked about what we choose to master has to be uh, strategically focused and refined, I buzzed over a term concept that you would not know um, called the wheel of learning and from that making uh, good smart little bets or experiments to fail forward. So now I'm going to go into that particular uh, meme, that, that little concept. So here we have the wheel of learning. You can see it has basically four iterative things. The first thing we do is we ask questions. Uh, questions could, because we're very curious. How do I make more money? How do I become a black belt fourth degree guy at whatever I'm doing? On a scale from one to 10, where am I? What is a 10? Those kinds of things. And or problems, gee. We're not getting paid for service value. Every one of our customers is playing this, here's the last look, meet the price game. How do we get paid for service value? Which was the overarching question of this whole video clip project. Well, you know, we can ask the questions, but the next time is, well, gee, I don't know, but I have a theory. And theories really are ideas or brainstorming about ideas. So we can come up with theories and that's all they are until we decide to do something to find out whether the theory works or not. So we have to do kind of a, an experiment, uh, which involves uh, betting some amount of our resources, our time, our treasure, our talent, uh, our goodwill, whatever. And when I ask people, what is the definition of a good experiment? They always say, well, it's one you learn from. Well, that's good, that's part three, but what, what's missing is First of all, it's got to be something that we plan very carefully and keep it very simply. So it has so few moving parts that one, it's cheap, two, it's fast. And then when we do something, we say, you know, it worked or it didn't work. And I know exactly why, as opposed to, well, you know, we tried this, we had a big trade show and we pulled out all the stops and really we didn't make any money. Well, why didn't we? Well, I don't know. There are just way too many variables in the soup that I can't, I can't really decide what were the net positive, negative contributors? I just, I just don't know. So if we plan it carefully, make it very small, cheap, fast, and, and fewer moving parts, then we can learn. And that, that allows us to try it again smarter. So that you see there's an iterative thing here. Or when we learn, that takes us up to step four here, which is what we reflect on what happened. This then raises new questions, which comes up with new theories and around we go. Now, sometimes we try an experiment and it works fantastic. It's, oh my gosh, this is working. We're getting some traction, we're making some dough, whatever. Really, why, 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 why? Let's really understand it and let's crystallize it and let's turn it into basically a habit or a, 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 a repetitive, scalable system. And that's a, that's a source of, of, of ongoing wealth generation for value, you know, creation for the customer that then gives us wealth. So, but to, to, to push this wheel of learning and to do these cheap experiments, this is a full-time job because every step of the wheel, one, two, three, four, there are natural human reasons to resist it, not want to do it and so forth. So how do we get everybody to be a confident mistake maker, good mistake maker, because they they know how to push the wheel of learning, they know how to design good cheap experiments, and fail forward at a very fast successful rate. So let's let's dive deeper into uh, the sub steps, questions, theory, experiments, and reflection uh, in subsequent slides. Thank you.